Okay, so, seeing how I had this old uh, PS1 title, a collection of Intellivision classic games, I figured, hey, make a video of it, right? And I'll be making like 30 second clips of random games from this, so let's start off. Hello, Commander. Computer reporting. That's a little too uh, loud. Maybe not. Anyway, I think I'll, this would be, should be loud enough, so... It says load game movie and options. I don't know what the hell that means. You play these. You play these kind of. Back then, when I was a little, when I was what, nine or ten? Let me just adjust the camera a little bit. You play these for the games, not the movies. Or I don't even know what the hell you would. You couldn't save as far as I know. So okay, bear with me. The the uh, loading's kind of bad. Uh, of course, I can't fit everything on one of the every single one of these into a, a video. So. I just picked some of my, some of my uh, favorites, like, like Astro Smash. So while well, this is loading up, movement, fire. There's auto fire mode, hyperspace, single fire mode. Simple enough. This was the Intellivision. You had there's no point of very complex controls. It's played with your good old PS1 controller. There was also Intellivision lives on the on the uh, oh wait it's on the on the Play on the PlayStation 2, but it was really bad because it picked a lot of games that was mostly dependent on the uh, number pad, which you could only activate when you press these two top buttons at the same time, like this. So let's look at this. Okay, so Astro Smash, you're just sh it's your basic ground shooting. You're shooting at these uh, rocks, called, why it's called Astro Smash, but. Hold on, as you'll see eventually. So, yeah. This is one of the more enjoyable games. You watch out for those things. That big pixel leap. What's in the jigger? I have no idea what the hell it was. But if it touches the ground, well, I'll show you what it does when it hits the ground. Oh, that's uh, all fire mode. Of course, that's no fun. You want single fire. What the? Okay, I don't know. Oh, right. I like guess when you, a certain amount of time passes, the screen would turn change, which means that it's getting harder. Now, as you can see, there's a tiny one falling there, but I'll show you. Just because they're small and tiny doesn't mean they can't do a lot of damage. And I, and you'll find out what I mean. Oh, crap. Oh, what's that? What's that? Six you out. Bam! You blow up. That sucks. Okay, that's enough. So let's go on to another game, shall we? Alright. Hello, Commander. Computer reporting. Oh, man. I, I forgot. You had to go back to the main menu. That's really stupid. Okay, that's... Okay. So you got Ash, you got Astro Smash. I'll show you some of my more, uh, my favorites. Let's see. There's auto racing that's too tedious to show. There's baseball. Ah, baseball. This is also one of the targets of the main commercials. You know, with uh, what's his name? I don't remember his name. I don't remember his name. Which one was more realistic, in television or Atari? Yeah, none of them look realistic, but hey, Atari looked somewhat. Anyway. The controls do seem very confusing, but it's a nice show. They, they make sure the controls are nice. You know, they make sense. They, they transfer a lot of controls to the buttons rather than pressing the, the shoulder buttons and blah, 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 blah. You know, then finding your number and pressing it. Pro, just because I want to get through it pretty quickly. Just to give you the basics. Okay, so this looks crazy, right? All oh, right, I think this is. I don't know if this is too big right now. Okay. So as you can see, you can pass it around. So you press down like that, and unfortunately, I do not remember how to uh, uh, swing the freaking thing. And last one. Let's see if we can make it. 
Whoa, he makes it. Here's the thing. If you didn't know, you have to actually get the other... Con you, you, this is two players. You have to get your other person to find the freaking controls, find the guy, get the freaking ball. Now if he's right here, he can pass it around. So if he's fucking safe. He can pass it to this guy. But that's foolish. Or is it? Uh-oh. He's in trouble. What a foolish move. And this is the Intellivision. It wasn't meant to be very, all that uh, epic. So then we find this guy. No, wait, you want this guy. So he picks it up. Let's just say he, he gets it to that guy first. Maybe not. If that happens... Okay, that's enough. That's too bad. Okay. This was the 80s, people. This the game was still relatively young at this time. This was very advanced. The force, uh, that little slide you see there, that's, uh, boxing. That one is even more confusing. You do not even want to know. I actually prefer the Atari version of boxing. Of course, I do not, uh, pref of course, I do not like Atari version of baseball. That one's really bad. It's, it's very confusing. They also have basketball. It's super confusing. Boxing. Checkers. Not that bad. Chess. <laughs> if you're playing the computer, have some patience. Football, I don't know how to play. Frog bog. One of my favorites, but I tend to play it the whole time, it's just a long time. Golf is tedious. Hockey is quite a bit of fun. Hover Force. It's confusing. Las Vegas Poker and Blackjack. I couldn't figure out that game as a kid. Night Stalker. But first, I want to show you one of my personal favorites as a little kid. It's Pinball. My dad and I, we love Pinball. We have, like, what? I don't know how many games. Because uh, there are collections of old school games. So one player. So you find this thing. That's the, uh, I don't know. Okay, so. Pull down, press the lever. Yeah, that's old school, right? This was awesome back then. As a, for me as a little kid. Damn. Th this was, I would spend hours and hours and hours playing this game. Notice there's a little dot that appear on the top. If you get in there, you get a special prize. What is that? Well, well, you won't see it this time. And does he make it? Yep, makes it on the other side. The sound effects, I, I always loved the sound effects as a kid. I think I'm actually going to spend most of my time just playing this game. Just because I just love it. Base, but as you can see, I've gotten quite, kind of rusty since I was a little kid. I'm not sure if you can bump in this. But however, I don't know if you can bump in this one. Ah! Made the, the, the keypad game a comp. I don't know what that does. That counter, the blue counter over there, most useful thing ever. And I think you have five balls. So that blue counter that's in the trip right now. Most, it helps if you if you're big about points. That's your godsend right there. Oh my God, this is this is a soldier play for me. I haven't played this game since I was a little kid. This this wasn't like my other ones where I haven't played in like a couple years. I hate that. This sends it all over the place. I haven't played this since I was like what five or six. My God, that was some nice memories. Okay, moving on.